Hello, welcome to Scaffold Design for Scaffolders. In this series of videos, you learn to design access scaffolds, body base, hoist runoffs, countries, temporary roofs. I will share everything I know. My name is Alejandro Garcia, and I'm a charter civil engineer. I have designed hundreds of scaffolds in the UK, among other projects, Battersea Power Station, the new A30, or Paddington Square in London. Now, to design a scaffold, we must check the stability of the structure during erection, use, and dismantle. To do that, we will consider all the forces acting on the scaffold. Now, what is a force exactly? A force is any action or influence on a body that may alter its position, its movement, or its dimensions. For example, if you push somebody, you are applying a force. If you squeeze a balloon with your hands, you are applying a force. And there are many types of forces. There are atomic forces inside the atoms, electromagnetic forces, just holding a magnet to attract a piece of steel. You have the force of gravity. Now, you may think, I've met many engineers on site and they never talk about forces. They were always talking about impulse loads and wind loads. So, is there any difference between forces and loads? No. Engineers call loads any force that is acting on a structure. So, from now on, I will talk mainly about loads. And we will measure them in newtons or kilonewtons. Many occasions, you will obtain the load from a British standard, TG20, Euro codes. But on occasions, a client will say, I want to put a one ton pallet on the scaffold. Now, how do you convert that pallet into a load? Let's ask Isaac Newton. Newton's second law of motion says that the force equals the mass in kilograms times the acceleration in meter per second squared. Now, in physics, mass is what you normally call weight. So, one liter of water weighs one kilogram. That is the mass. Now, you may think, if I put bricks on the scaffold, they don't move. They don't have any acceleration. But on the Earth, every object uh, suffers the acceleration of gravity. So that's what we will apply to convert kilograms to newtons. And equals 9.81 meters per second squared. So let's calculate, for example, 100 kilograms. So the force of 100 kilograms equals the mass, 100 kilograms, times the acceleration of gravity, 9.81, and that equals 981 newtons. Now, it's quite a big number already, and we haven't considered you know, this self-width of the scaffold and all other loads. So, to make it smaller, we will work with kilonewtons. One kilonewton being 1,000 newtons. So this equals 0 0.98 kilonewtons. Now, you may see it's very, very close to one kilonewton. So all engineers, and we will do the same from now on, just consider that 100 kilograms equals 1 kilometer. That's the rule we will apply from now on. So, anytime a client gives you a load in kilograms, you divide it by 100 and you obtain the equivalent in kilometers. So, for example, if they want to put 
one ton on the scaffold, just yes. so 100 kilo, 1000 kilograms, we divide by 100 kilograms per kiloton, and that's 10 kilometers. That's it. They give you the mass in kilograms, divide by 100, that's kilometers. So let me summarize. Loads acting on the scaffold are any actions that may alter its position or dimensions. We are going to calculate with the loads in kilonewtons. And one kilonewton equals 100 kilograms. That's it for today. Now I will give you three short exercises so you can practice the conversion from kilograms to kilometers. One, calculate the weight in kilometers of a 350 kilograms machine. So you have the mass, you know the gravity, obtain the kilometers. Two, calculate the mass of a concrete block with a weight of 25 kilometers. So you know the kilonewtons, you know gravity, you must obtain the mass in kilograms. And the third one, calculate the weight of a 100 kilogram scaffolder on the moon, where gravity is 1.62 meter per second squared. So in this case you have the mass and you have gravity, but different gravity than on Earth. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you like it, if you hate it, if it's boring, if it's interesting, uh, what will you do differently so I can improve on future videos. Thank you very much. Goodbye.